another vlog. Today's Thursday. It's the day before my birthday. I wish I could tell you I was celebrating, but I'm not. All birthday plans are pretty much canceled for right now. So when I, remember when I told you guys I was feeling better? Well, two days later, I, I got sick again. And this time I got sick just differently. So I have been coughing, I can barely catch my breath. Like everything, I mean having everything, just everything happening. And then yesterday, John gets 104 fever. He has a fever right now. Say hi, John. Hi, y'all. I'm hot. <laughs> he hot. <laughs> what y'all say like that? We both sick. Like, we both sick sick. So, we're about to go and get tested just to make sure if we do what we don't. I haven't left the house in almost a week. Um, but John has been working. Luckily, he doesn't work with a lot of people. He works pretty much by himself. Yeah, I've only worked with two people at the most. And we not together together. So. Yeah. So, he couldn't go to work last night. He's been feverish, but he also has the chills and he has a really bad headache. I woke up with a headache today. Um, my chest is tight, my throat is sore, stuff like that. That's what I'm, the symptoms I'm having right now. So we're about to go get a COVID test. I figure I'll bring you guys along. I wish it was a happier vlog because it's gonna be my birthday and I was so excited about it. Um, but it is what it is. We'll celebrate another time. I have to look at it positively. I try not to be a, a Debbie Downer, you know? I can celebrate another time. It, it may not be on the actual day, but that's okay. Um, and then our wedding anniversary is next Wednesday. Yeah, we the 12th. The 12th. We've been married for how long? 16. 16 years. Together for 17. Married. 16. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's how our days are going right now. So we'll take you guys along with us. We ain't doing much, it's, but so much we can do right now. Um, so we get ready, to head off. Guys, we just got done with getting the COVID test. We don't know the results till tomorrow. We gotta check online to see what it is. But I swear, the guy that was swabbing me, he took a chunk of my brain cell out. I still feel it inside. Like, I don't get it where it has to be so rough. My Lord, I think I just lost a, like a whole chunk of brain. He might have even poked my eyeball. Oh. Hey guys, we're now back home. John is laying down. He keeps saying he's freezing cold. Um, and he, he hasn't eaten anything. So he is laying down right now. Sorry guys, I just finished coughing like a bunch. I'm gonna, let's, I'm gonna show you guys something that I did to the plants. So I moved this pot just now, I just did it over here by the window so she could get some more light because she looked like she trying to turn on me but we're not having it today so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna order one of those um grow lights that you could clip to the um you could clip to the pot and like that she could get some more light especially when we turn off the lights at night she could i could still have her light on the actual pot so i just moved my pontos over to the side so she could get some light as well um, this is my aloe vera plant. She has some new babies growing. Let me show you. I just dropped my phone. So she has some new babies growing here. And then right here, I just propagated some of my pontos plant. So I'm just waiting for it to grow some roots. And then I can repot her probably in a few months. I was going to start on a load of clothes. But I think I'm going to do that a little later on. I think I should go take a nap since... Yeah, I think I'm going to go take a nap. Um, and then when I get up, start on a load of clothes because I'm really behind. I haven't done anything really. I've just been sleeping. And I'm just so tired. I wake up and I wake up tired still. So i just been pretty much sleeping. So I've been listening to you guys. You told me to slow it down. And I have. I've only been doing it is sleeping. I just want to get some stuff done. Um, but that will be later on today. Hey guys, I'm back to start a load of laundry. At least my load of laundry now because my hamper is pretty full. So I'll just work my way through what everybody else is just saying go be today. This one, I need my load. Oh. So, um, wash my clothes first. And then, 
everything. I think I'm just gonna make some oh, some soup. We have these packets of Linton soup that I keep for emergency. So like when someone is sick, let me put this in here. When someone is sick, um, I keep those packs packets here so like that I can just quickly make some soup. So that's probably what I'll do for for myself and John. And then I gotta figure out the kids' dinner. But luckily when you have kids that are not babies anymore and then when you're sick, it's not as bad because they can kind of fend for themselves, you know, especially if you teach them how to do things, how to work the microwave, the toaster, you know, stuff like that. Um, they don't have to really depend on you as much. Like the kids, like the boys, for example, they get up, they make their own breakfast and make their own lunches for school. I'm actually putting the color, color catcher in here, that's what I'm doing. Do you get what I'm saying? So they can do their own stuff. They don't depend on us to do it for them. Now, we have been sick while the kids were younger, when they were toddlers, and it was hard. So we went through that phase of life. Luckily, now that they're older, they don't have to depend, as much, depend on us as much, which is a blessing. I always use this, the Lysol, the laundry detergent. I'm trying to use up what I have first before I use my method. I'm so excited to use the, the method um, laundry stuff. Y'all, it'd be so, like, I'm so excited to show you. These are the beads. I'm excited for that. And it smells so good. And you know what's crazy? The whole laundry room smells like that right now, and I haven't even used it yet. So, that lets you know right there. All right, where's my glasses? All right. I actually got a lot of questions about my air purifier in my bedroom. So this is the one that I keep in the living room. This thing is the bomb. So we got it on sale during um, Black Friday on Walmart website. I'm going to see if I can link it down be uh, below. I don't know if it's still on sale. But this thing don't play. And when I, It's off right now, but it cleans the air amazingly. Like, it just smells fresh in here. And like, look, it's just so sleek. I just love it. So this is the rest of the strawberries. They were pretty much going bad, but uh, this is what I was able to salvage. So Destiny wants me to make her a smoothie. So I'm getting ready to add some of the strawberries and bananas frozen fruit in here. So I'll, uh, let me get this closer so you guys can see. Just a little bit. Go get me a spoon, baby. I need a spoon. I think that's good. Yeah. It has a lot of strawberries to me. Yeah. Well, don't call me like that. Come on. Like this? Like this? Uh huh. And then I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna add some vanilla yogurt from Walmart. That's gonna be good. I'll consider this more like an after school snack. But sometimes you like, I can make it. You can make this for a breakfast as well. No, this one's yours, baby girl. And then I'm just gonna add some coconut vanilla uh, milk. That's what makes it well. Put that in the sink for me. I want to eat it. Mm. Yeah, you can. Alrighty, that should be good. How this would end, how I knew that it would die. Does it need more liquid? Let me see. A little more? No, I think this is perfect. How about you taste it? This is what it looks like. It looks so good. All right. 
Look good? I guess so, she walked away. <laughs> oh, well, my job here is done. Hey guys, so it's now the next day, and guess what? It's my birthday! I don't know why I'm so happy that it's my birthday. I'm doing absolutely nothing today, and I mean nothing. I'm gonna be sitting on the couch, catching up on TV shows and YouTube and whatever else I want. Um, not the type of birthday that I imagined for myself, but it is what it is. Um, right now, Destiny has a 102 fever. She, she's laying down in bed. John has the fever as well. But let me tell you something. This man, even though he has a fever, he's been working those fingers because I got a cake delivered to me today from my favorite bakery. Um, he said he's gonna have food delivered later from Olive Garden and stuff like that. So um, thank God for delivery stuff. And we just had some groceries get delivered here too. So thank God for delivery. But I, it's, my birthday is not so bad. Um, I have cake which I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna have Olive Garden and I'm gonna relax and I'm not gonna do anything today unfortunately one of my kids is sick so um, I'll be taking care of her so um, but yeah I'm doing much better today thank God I um, not coughing as much and stuff I don't have a fever or a headache today so I'm doing quite well so thank you very much um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for another year. I'm, um, I'm okay. I'm satisfied. Uh, not many year get, not many people get to see a new year, their birthday for the next year. So I am happy. I am satisfied. Later on, we'll get to um, celebrate or whatever. That's completely fine by me. I will probably be doing some online shopping today because my fingers still work. <laughs> but. I want to thank you guys as well for all the birthday wishes. You guys are so awesome. Um, and thank you for let for giving me this platform where I could come here and talk to you guys and express myself. And I don't feel like I'm gonna get judged or anything like that. So thank you so much, you guys. I do have a confession to make. It's coming. And I'm embarrassed to even say it, to be honest with you, but I, I know so many can relate with me. I know, it has to be. So I am always on top of my kids' doctor's appointments, dental appointments, like I don't play when it comes to my kids. I always make sure that they are straight. Now when it comes to me, I'm not the best at making myself doctor's appointments or dental, dentist appointments. For one, the last time I really got, well, I got a pass mirror maybe two years ago, I did do that and that was after years of not seeing the doctor I think that before that when I saw the doctor I was when I you know how you have a baby six weeks later they do a checkup I think when I when I had that silly and, I, and then I got pap smear no and, and I, got, I went a few times for upper respiratory infection and stuff like that but not for like a physical or a checkup or anything like that like I dread going to the doctor for myself but if my kids even have a sniffle I'm quick to call the doctors for them and I don't understand why I don't know what why that is uh, I don't know and I know I need to because my arthritis has progressed where it's gotten worse it's hard it hurts to do my hair it hurts to do many things like I can't write for more than five minutes now to make reefs which is another reason why I'm closing down my Etsy shop is it hurts my fingers like reefs take hours to make and at the few minutes my hands are killing me so I slowed down with that um but the main one that I'm so embarrassed about you guys is the fact that I haven't seen a dentist in a very long time and I mean a long time like you guys I'm so embarrassed to even say it but I'm gonna be honest with you guys I haven't seen a dentist my entire adulthood I think I was maybe a teenager when I saw it, if that. The entire adulthood, I've never seen a dentist. I'm gonna leave that right there. It's, it's this fear and anxiety that I have when it comes to dentists. 
people tinkering in my mouth just the thought of it gives me anxiety like i don't know i have this unnatural fear of dentists and pulling teeth and just the thought of a dentist scares me so today on january 7th i called and made myself an appointment thank you thank you it did take the fact that my wisdom tooth is killing me but <laughs> i made myself an appointment i'm very very proud of myself people i can't believe i've never seen a dentist it's just i'm so scared it's like i'm so scared now and i don't play when it comes to my kids teeth like i make sure they go see a dentist and i tell them it's going to be okay and it's not that bad and but yet i haven't seen a dentist i don't see how that's okay um, so I'm going to fix that. That's one of the goals I have for 2022 to go see a dentist to make myself doctor's appointments and stuff Now I will say with COVID and everything else going on in this world um, That it, to make a doctor's appointment is kind of difficult right now. Like it's very far out um, They'll do a video call with you first before they even see you or anything So they kind of make it difficult for you Especially for someone like me that even had to make a doctor's appointment um, But I made it anyway so um yeah that's what i had to say i'm not proud of myself i'm not proud of it i'm not proud of it but as moms we have to take care of ourselves too and i don't do a good job at that i don't i'm gonna be honest with you and i know i'm not the only one because i'm so quick to make sure everyone else is okay except for myself but i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna fix that i'll make sure if i get a paper cut i'll call it that I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I made myself some tea because um, it's been helping me out a lot. Um, I'm just happy in a very good mood, even though I'm not under the best circumstances right now with it. Um, my husband being sick and my daughter, the boys are okay. Um, I I'm happy. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm happy that you guys are here with me. So I want to thank you guys again for being here and watching every single one of my videos. Let me show you guys my birthday cake. Now, if you're from Augusta, especially if no, if you're from Waynesboro, then you know where this cake place is from, which is Pineland. This cake came from Pineland, which is my favorite bakery. And this is what the kids had ordered for me. Happy birthday, mommy. And the cake is red velvet. So that is my absolute favorite. They knew exactly what I wanted, so I can't wait to dig in later. I'm excited. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to catch up on the last episode of Dexter, the new season that came out on Showtime. Years ago, I used to watch um, Dexter and then I finished all the season and that was it. 10 years later, they brought the season back and now it's on Showtime. I'm on the last episode. Um, so I'm gonna watch that now um, with my cup of tea. I don't, I'm not coughing at all today, thank God. Yesterday I was wearing a mask in the house because I was coughing a lot. But I'm good today, y'all. I'm good. I'm just happy. So we just got our test results back and unfortunately we do have COVID. So um, we're just home. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, you know what's crazy? The first in 2020 when everyone was getting it, we never got it, 2021, we didn't get it 2022 came and we got it so um we're home we have everything we need thankfully but definitely was not expecting the year to start off like this you know hey guys so i got some packages to open up for my birthday i'm so excited this is john's knife but i'm scared to use it if i don't cut myself okay so let me open this one None of the packages, like the packages, if it comes from Amazon, it doesn't really show who's it from. Let's see what's this. Some of them are from Amphia. So the, the front is looks like this. Let me show you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Is this tea? Oh my God, it's teas. Oh my, it's a bag full of teas. Lemon ginger tea. 
what? Miss Evil Focus. It's just a bag full of teas, different sorts of teas, camel meals, super Irish breakfast tea. Oh my God, this is wonderful. Thank you. But of course, it doesn't show who's it from. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> oh, wait, yes, it does. It's a thank you note. It says a thank you note. Happy birthday, Yesenia. Enjoy your tea from Quinn, or pronounced Keon. Oh, okay, Keon Thomas. Just call me Q. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Q. Oh my God, y'all know I love teas. You guys know me so well. Okay, this one is a box. So let me open this one. Y'all, I feel so weak. I feel so weak. Like, I feel like I have no strength whatsoever. I just checked Destiny's temperature. I had to give her some more medicine. Her temperature is 105. She's laying down right now. And this, I know who this from. She told me, it come from Cleosha. Yay, she sent me a tumbler. How sweet. Yay. Oh my God. And it comes with the straws. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it comes with the keychain. It's the friends we meet along the way that helps us appreciate the journey. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look what she sent me. See if you guys can see. Oh my gosh. And it comes with the straws. <gasps> thank you. And the cleaner. Oh my God. Thank you so much, girl. I'm about to text her. I've got finished here. Okay. Um, I got this one in a minute. I think I have an idea who sent it to me. Uh, I have to take things really slow, you guys. Once I start talking, I notice that my chest starts to get like, um, really tight. Oh, and this is the card. She said, oh, oh, this come from Cleosha too. Thank you, girl. Wow. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's, this is a message that's inside. It says, hope your day is filled with the little moments that make you feel remembered, celebrated, and loved for who you are and that someone is very special. Girl, let me text her real quick. Y'all, I'm over here getting all emotional and stuff. Man. Okay, so this card came from Evelyn Denmark. Thank you from Macon, Georgia. You're not too far from me, girl. It's a beautiful card. On your special day. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Okay. It says, just a bookmark that reflects you. <gasps> Thank you. May your birthday be filled with everything that will bring you a song. <laughs> oh my God. Bring your smile to your face and happiness to your heart. Evelyn, thank you so much. You guys are the best. I will definitely be using this. Oh, hold on, I don't want to cry. I had to put myself together. This next card is from Linda Danish. Oh. Okay, so let me open it up. Mary, it's a Christmas card. Thank you. I love your channel and love your grocery hauls and your husband. It's nice and cool. You're so very Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you guys as well. From Linda Danish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And last but not least, there's a box from Miss Cheryl. I swear, when I see a box from Miss Cheryl, I already know what time it is. <laughs> she sent me a huge box. Oh my God, this is, this is a box. Remember around Christmas time, Miss Cheryl sent a, like a goodie box? Yeah, let's just say my kids had a feast with everything she sent in there. So I have to open this up. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I have to show you she this. She always packages like everything so beautifully. Look at this. Oh my God. Happy birthday, confetti and all. Wow, I swear this stuff came right at the, like the perfect time. <gasps> no way. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this kind of popcorn. So it's two of these, these are about to go. I know if the kids get their hands on this. Cocoa rolls, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pick up sticks game. Oh my god, I think the kids will love this. Oh man, I can't. Well, we got plenty of time to be at home, y'all. We got. Oh! Oh my god, yes! Oh man. This box is beautiful. Happy birthday. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm about to start crying again. Who's who in the Bible? Yes, I love this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. What else is in here? <gasps> no way. Oh my God, look at these glasses, you guys. These are so cool. What's in here? I'm about to open this. I'm trying to do this one-handed. All right. What's this? A shifter. <laughs> A pioneer woman shifter. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God. Wow, well, this is a, a box of party supplies and, and goodies and all the fun things. No. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No. A apron. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. And this is the one I was going to pick up. And I was like, nah, I'm going to wait. And she got it. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, and it's still more stuff. Okay. Bubbles. You. So we're going to party. Okay. Bubbles. Oh wow. I swear she sends the best boxes. I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love this. Okay. What's in here? What's this? A recipe book? Or magazine? <gasps> what? Comfort foods. Oh my God. Yes. I love all of these things. Oh my God. Thank you. What's this? Hold on. I'm trying to do this one handed. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god, yes! Oh, wow. A multi-slicer. Wow, thank you. And then what's this? This is the last thing in there. Oh, wow. A kitchen accessory set. Oh my God, it comes with one apron, a kitchen towel, one oven mitt, and one pot holder. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, <laughs> it's crazy how happy, I mean, I was good, but at the same time, I was kind of sad because my kid is sick and John is sick and everyone is sick on my, and it's my birthday, of course, but Oh my God, thank you guys so much. <laughs> I'm not a crier, I swear to you, I'm not. But I am so grateful to support you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I thank you. This definitely, can I, this definitely brightened my day. This definitely brightened my day because Man, I was sitting there, but when you're sitting down watching TV and stuff, and you know how you sit down and you think, I'm like, man, I wish this could have been better, or I wish, you know, um, it wasn't like this. Um, I was tired to get down, basically. So thank you, I appreciate it so much, you guys. Appreciate it so much. I wish I could film like us celebrating with the cake and all that stuff, but most likely, um, that's not going to happen because Destiny's laid out. She's in bed. John is not feeling good. And you know what's crazy? I am truly blessed. He's literally not feeling good. Has a fever. And he's having stuff delivered to the house. Like food. I just got delivery of flowers, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, I just got delivery of flowers. And I have my cake and stuff. So... Either he somehow, some way, he's still making it happen. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm so thankful and appreciative. I have never received boxes and stuff like this before in my entire life, and I just I don't know, I'm lost for words. So, I thank all of you so much. And here are what my roses look like, aren't they pretty? They're gorgeous, so I thank my husband for that. He knows I love flowers, especially fresh flowers. So that will be all, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys all again for your prayers. Thank you so much because we definitely need it. There's nothing much for me to show you guys. Everyone is laid up, so um, it's not much for me to show you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, and keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye.